in Act 1, Scene 1 of Tartuffe, Madame Pernell visits and takes each member of her son Orgone's household to task. Doreen, Marianne's maid, is too talkative. Orgone's son, Damis, is a dunce. Orgone's daughter, Marianne, seems innocent and demure, but is secretive. Elmire, Orgone's second wife, spends too much on clothes. Her brother, Cléon, is too full of worldly counsels, not suitable for decent folk to hear. Madame Parnell will hear nothing from them against Tartuffe. Damis and Doreen explain that Tartuffe is a hypocrite, a bigot, and a shameful deceiver who's conned his way into being taken in and fed by Orgone. What's more, he becomes angry when callers visit because of his jealousy over Elmir. Madame Pernel feels the family entertains too much, which must bother the neighbors too. Cléant says their neighbors will talk regardless of what they do, so they must live according to their conscience. Doreen adds people gossip to hide their own flaws or because time has forced them to forego their own pleasures. Madame Pernel again admonishes Elmire not to have so many guests and then leaves. In Act 1, Scene 2, Cléant and Doreen have a brief conversation, agreeing that although Madame Pernel has been taken in and tricked by Tartuffe, her son Orgone is even worse. He seems to prefer Tartuffe to his own family. Tartuffe has tricked Orgone out of money and set up a sort of inquisition in the house. And Tartuffe's servant, Laurent, constantly preaches to the family servants and takes away their little vanities. The opening of the play is a microcosm of what Moliere sought to do in his comedies, to hold up a mirror, allowing society to see itself and learn from what it sees. Madame Parnell blasts members of her son Orgone's household, but she's the one who's been taken in by the con man Tartuffe. Scene one is filled with upper class hypocrisy. Act one, scene two offers more details about Tartuffe and finally describes Orgone, the head of the family. Until recently, Orgone was a wise and loyal servant of the king, but now he's fallen under Tartuffe's infatuating spell. Doreen describes how Orgone has stopped talking to his family and confides only in Tartuffe, whom he dotes on and gives everything he wants. Tartuffe spouts holy prose while indulging in unholy vanities, such as stuffing himself with food, chugging down good port, and reveling in his lust for his host's wife. 